Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the daily news analysis of 20th of December guys. So let's see the very first news uh, guys. It is about new policy initiatives by the railway departments. Actually, the Ministry of Railway has come up with some sort of new policy in order to modify railway so that, you know, uh, railway could get much better and better, right? So there are a few policies like uh, government has recently allowed 100% FDI in the creation of railway stru structure sector. So it will attract uh, investment from uh, you know outside countries also it is being said next is government has reduced the rates of free trades right and this is done to in order to promote the make in india initiatives few of the other initiatives of the railway ministries are stretched it is basically a new uh, research and development organization which will do the uh, r d uh, work on future technologies that will be uh, implied on railways as well as there has come up uh, i mean the government has come up with sutra which is kind of world-class data analytics and simulation software which will be acting as a support system for carrying out the works of these railways right and there's new organization called rail investment and planning organization which will identify different investment opportunities of the railways and also you know uh, do the standardized economic easement of projects i mean it will do the works also that these projects could be uh, you know carried out in a uh, investment friendly manner right so this is all about the new policies by railways next is again by the news of the about a railway ministry only and they had recently launched a special conclave which is called sampark samanvay and samavad this is it is basically to you know uh, do away with the uh, presently i mean up till now which was the constraint which was being faced by the railways ministry so that the railway ministry couldn't do that much of communication with the normal audience like the we passengers right so after this conclave it is being said that those uh you know those uh hurdles will be removed off right now sampak samanve and sambad just see the meaning of these guys sampak means to break the silos which were being existing what i've already discussed you right now samanve is to improve the coordination between all the stakeholders that is being associated uh, with the railways and uh, samvad is to find the solution which uh, of the critical issues which being being faced by the uh, railways at present and it is being said that after this conclave uh you know i mean this this conclave is mainly focused uh, in order to ensure highest standard of safety punctuality and passenger comfort means these are safety punctuality and passenger comfort are kept at a very top notch of uh, you know uh, any policy making by the uh, railway uh, department right so this was all about it next news is coming regarding registrar for newspaper of india actually it was a new because in 2016 2017 financial year it was being said that around 4000 new publications were registered registered with this uh, you know institution which is called registrar for newspaper of india and it is being said that it in compared to the previous financial year it is an increment of 3.58 percent so let's see a bit about this organization guys it was being set up in 1956 and the duties and functions of this registrar for new, uh, newspaper of india are mentioned in the press and registration of books act uh 1867 right and a uh, few of the duties and functions are it issues the uh, it issues the certificates of registration to the newspaper which is published under valid declaration as well as its work is to ensure that the newspaper is published according to the provision of this press and uh, registration of books act 1967 otherwise actually it, in some cases it was being seen that the press uh, reporters are you know they are crossing the limits of uh, national security also and they are you know uh, publishing uh, that kind of articles which are not uh, conducive to the security matter of any nation right so in that case you know the government has fully rise to take action against those reporters and all right so i mean this was all about this uh, news guys next news is coming regarding urban heat island effect guys i'll not explain it to that much but uh, through this diagram only i just want to explain it guys there's a y-axis in which it is given about the late afternoon temperature is uh, mentioned right I mean the degree of this uh, temperature is being mentioned and in x axis it was being it is written about I mean they have given different uh, shown different uh, places like rural suburban and uh, downtown on the urban residential areas right so in the afternoon time guys just look on to the different areas and look on to the range of temperature which is exist if you see the both ends then both ends consist of rural areas and rural area temperature is damn low right 
इन कंपेरिजन टू द डाउन टाउन और द मेनली मेन सिटी एरिया टेम्परेचर इज वेरी हाई मीन्स वॉट इज द कंक्लूजन दैट यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम हेयर दिस दैट द रूरल एरियाज और एनी पार्क एरियाज आर यू नो रिस्पेक्टिवली मच इन्वायरमेंटली यू नो कंड्यूसिव देन दिस डाउन टाउन एरियाज आई मीन नो मोर सिटी एरियाज बिकॉज the in cities areas since all the things are of concrete so it mostly absorb you know the light coming the heat coming from sun right and it leads to urban heat island effect right means cities are the i heat island of uh, you know the any region right so that is what the thing uh, here i mean through this graph it was mentioned that uh, you know if you are making even cities then you have to make some sort of plan so that the effect of this highland heat island could be mitigated to the extent which is being needed and you can take steps like you know if you are painting your house then you just paint it with light colors so that you know the albedo becomes uh, the albedo of any light color becomes high right so that kind of thing and moreover you can you know imply uh, vegetation in your roof areas also i mean those will also act as some sort of you know extent to mitigate the effect of urban heat island so these are the steps which you can you know yourself think of right because they i mean you basically might ask question regarding this also that is i mean it is being seen that the urban high heat island effect of uh, you know major cities like metropolitan cities are going higher and higher what are the reasons behind it and what are the you know uh, what is the solution that you are giving so if you that kind of question you get then you can at least analyze through this graph only that what you need to write on that answer right so this was all about it guys next news is coming regarding e cigarette actually the opposition has asked the health ministry that what is the uh, you know status regarding the e cigarette so uh, uh so guys the health ministry has basically said that uh, okay we have constituted three uh, three groups in which you know they will uh, judge on to the various aspects of e cigarettes right and uh, actually they have the, i mean the government of india is taking uh, the their uh, you know steps just because of the reason that some of the countries have regulated e smoking and some have banned it right so uh, but india in india there is no legislation per se to ban it right so that's why the ministry has come up and said that what are the i mean the they have constituted a three group in which you know they will uh, judge on to the various aspects of e cigarette right so let's see what is e cigarette because they might ask you in prelims about e cigarette so that's why i just thought of you know mentioning it with you so guys it is basically a, a device through which you are uh, you know inhaling cigarettes only i mean see in actual cigarettes if you see then there is tobacco but in this e kind of e cigarettes there are no tobacco but there is a mm, capsule of nicotine when you will switch switch on this uh, device then what will happen is the capsule of nicotine will get evaporized and uh, and uh, and those steam you are taking inhaling right and those will give you relief uh, just like the simple tobacco what you take right so this i mean this is the uh, regarding i mean this case regarding e cigarette which has come in today's news next news is coming regarding uidi has tightened norms uh, for aadhaar bank account linking actually guys uh, before few days there was a news coming in which uh, you know the license of bharti airtel has got cancelled because they have not uh, you know got the consent of customers and without getting the cons consent of customers they have opened uh, you know uh, they have opened uh, payment banks right means whenever you if you are a airtel customer you are going for the verification of your mobile number with aadhar then what they do is that you know they have an override feature actually uh, uh, i mean before this news uh, government has uh, you know said that overriding feature is allowed over in through this overriding feature you know they have uh, overrided the uh, aadhar mobile account verification to uh, to opening of this e payment bank right but uh, the government is telling without the informed consent of the normal customers how you are opening this e cust uh, e bank right because it is not at all conducive not neither for the government neither not for the customers because if say for example i have an e i got an e uh, you know this uh, payment bank account of airtel but i don't know that yeah i have my account is open or not so you know what will happen is the subsidy amount will go to that account because everything is now linked as of now right so how will i i mean if i will not know that uh, if uh, that i have a payment bank account then uh, i ca cannot draw that money right 
and moreover uh, as of now the situation is not that conducive that like the payment banks have been open in each and every place and on corner of the india right it is not like that especially the rural uh, people will get uh, you know i mean they cannot draw their money back so it will be very much hampered so if, in spite i mean since the infrastructure is not much uh, set up for that uh, thing to happen i mean that is not conducive enough so how you can i mean how you guys have without taking permission from the customer your guys are opening the e uh, you know this uh, payment bank right so that's why the national corporate uh, national payment corporation of india has basically disabled this override feature that you and uh, that uidi i said had that it has been misused by many banks while seeding other account uh, other to their accounts without the inform consent of the resident that's why uh, the latest rule of UIDAI is that explicitly informed consent from the customer is compulsory whenever you are using their Aadhaar number for any other purposes, right? So this is the news, I mean present news. Next news is coming regarding World Trade Organization has proceed and needs to be strengthened. Actually, India is recently on February 2018 will be hosting mini ministerial conference in which all the uh, you know members of uh, WTO will not be uh, you know uh, they will not be invited, but those countries will only be invited who are the like-minded countries with India and who want the same objective what is being wanted by the developed and underdeveloped countries, right? so i mean through this i mean see up till now the case was like developing con developed countries in fact they were bringing very much new issues like e-commerce investment facilitation gender issues right so somewhere or the other the under developing and developed uh, developing and underdeveloped countries are facing many problems just because of their new issues you know we are not you know that much uh, adapted to the environment what they are now in right so it is very much difficult for us to adapt to that thing so that's why you know we are conducting this mini ministerial conference in which we will push our i mean india's position as a multilateral trade body as well as well as will you know get more support about the food sovereignty because up till now there is a clause uh, in wto which is called peace clause under which developing and underdeveloped countries are allowed to you know uh, uh, st uh, food stock hold right i mean the developed countries won't you know ask that why you are keeping this uh you know stock holding of foods right i mean they won't ask you anything but uh, you know we want some concrete decision regarding that so we want more support regarding food support from the like-minded countries as well as the talks of doha round in which development agendas regarding the trade of world has been discussed so that has somewhere been you know in that is in a standstill right developed countries don't want that to carry forward but we'll just again push for that those doha round talks right so this was about it next news is coming regarding pink ballworm attack ring alarms bell actually guys i just uh i just brought this news because i just want to know you guys that pink ballworm attack is related to the crop which is called cotton right because they might ask you that recently pink ball worm attack was a news uh, to in which which crop it affects so that answer will be cotton so this is a i mean this is a very uh, small news guys i mean this is not that much and uh, huge but the next news is coming regarding commute uh, different uh, you know commutation remission respite reprieve and pardon actually this was in uh, news guys because uh, delhi high court has recently commuted some death, uh, you know some sentences of any prisoner so i i, I didn't read that much that much but i thought that you know we should deal with this commutation pardon remission respite reprieve because we often get confused whenever we uh, read the polity book right so what is what is the example basic example between this five and i'll try to tell that example with a very short and you know with a very crispy and some sort of desi totka which we call Totka means some sort of short trick will run, right? Now, pardon, you know, that pardon means to, you know, okay, pardon him, means just free from all the punishments, right? So, pardon means the same. Now, commutation, what is commutation means? The, see, the word commutations, uh, you know, rhyme with substitution, right? Means, in this commutation, there is a substitution of one form of punishment to the other form. And the other form, form must be, uh, I mean, less harsh than the first form, right? so i mean this kind of you know rhyme you can say that commutation is substitution right now remission uh, this is i i have just seen a hindi film which is called mission kashmir so 
I mean, just take an example that you are you have been sent by the government of India to Mission Kashmir to you know kill all the all the Pakistan terrorists. Now you are given the time frame of ten years, and uh, you are you know you, you are done it in five years. So your five in years will be saved, right? Your five year risky life will be saved. So this is what the remission is. I mean, they are lessening the amount of punishment without changing its character. Means character will be same that you will be you know kept in a jail. but the punishment time period will be reduced so remission this is called remission in which you have sent in mission to kashmir just remember that kind of thing next is respite respite what happens is uh, say for example uh, i'm just give just rhyme this word i mean respite with respect right now you are giving respect to old age people you are giving respect to pregnant women you are giving respect to handicap people right and now if any pregnant woman or any handicap people has you know done any crime so it's not that now that you will leave him or her you will you just you know you will give them any sort of punishment for sure but in in the under this respite thing guys the punishment will be not of that much i mean since after seeing the condition of their you know special circumstances like pregnancy or you know disability so they are given you know lesser sentence so that is coming under respite and reprieve is guys you just make it yourself only that uh, it is basically a stay on the execution of any sentences because they are pending under the pardon or commutation right uh, commutation uh, factor right so this was all about it guys yeah uh, today's news over we'll meet in next class till then bye bye take care and thank you for listening guys thank you very much